Yes, yes, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dead or Spud. I'm an Alco Mac. Um, today's movie we're going for is from 2006 and it's called Dead and Deader. Um, weird thing about this, I've definitely seen this when I was younger, right? 100%. I had it on DVD when I was going for my zombie phase of owning every single fucking zombie film, pretty much. Probably spent, I don't know, half a million pound on zombie DVDs, which I probably could have done better things in life, but hey, here we go. Don't ask me why, right? I woke up today and I was like, I want to watch Dead and Deader. Why I thought of this film, I don't know. I don't remember it. The only thing I remember is um, a scene in the kitchen where they fight a zombie, I think. That's literally all I remember. And also, um, it stars Dean Cain um, from the famous cheesy Superman show, which I gotta admit I did like when I was a kid. Uh, but he's in it, and that was the main reason I watched it. So obviously the zombie reason. I was like, what, Dean Cain in a zombie film? I remember younger going watch Superman in a zombie film gotta check this out from what I recall I think I liked it but then I was a bit younger it was kind of on my uni days and my head was all over the shop so I was liking shit I should have liked you know what I mean you know what I mean will it still live up to the hype will I look back on it and say what was I thinking likely um but yeah I don't know I just had a feeling for watching it can't remember it so let's go for dead and deader Oh yeah, it's about soldiers. Someone, uh, Dean Cain, gets stung by a scorpion, becomes like half a zombie, and then goes back and fights all his uh, comrades who turn into zombies. Should have put that in the intro as well, but there we go, that's what it's about. Well, so their special squad is just four of them. You should send a few more, right? Unless it's like a mission to go walk the boss's dog, fair enough or something, but wouldn't you have more than four? That's a medical facility, a fucking shed that you can fucking just kick down. What? Ah, they get attacked by zombies, alright then. Shoot in the fucking head. There you go, K knows. Headshot, Cap. Quit showing off. Not gonna become one of them. Ah, look at this. So you just decided to blow up the military. You could have come out and said, look, I'm infected. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to blow this place up. No, just blow them up as well. Fair enough. It's just why I wonder if grenades, right? You could argue the shrapnel went in him, but really, you should be missing an arm, a leg, maybe at least half a face off. None of that, no. He looks like he's just kind of hit his head on the slide. You know what I mean? He don't look that bad. A Boston police officer was injured after going down a slide at City Hall while he was on duty. Ah, oh, Dean Kane. Is that, your, is that your dead acting? Like, I'm not being funny. I'm not an actor, right? Check this out. Check this out. Oh, Joe's dead. It's gonna fuck it. I'm sorry. Like, why didn't you hire me? So, I just fucking clocked as well. This film is basically ripping off Universal Soldier. They're gonna bring back all the soldiers after dying, but they turn into zombies in this. Secondary causes okay, so it was trauma, apparently shrapnel wounds. Various internal injuries. Internal injuries? He looks fine. Well, besides being dead. I swear he just breathed then. I swear his chest just went up then. Ah, he's like casually like, don't do that, Doc. Uh, I'm a zombie. You arrived here in a body bag. This is his reaction to a here. dead man waking up. What Not like, what the is? fuck, man? Like, wow! Tell no, me. just... You're yeah. dead, mate, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it happens all the time, don't worry, buddy. Sometimes we think you're dead, you know. Dr. Flew. Sometimes it goes wrong, you know, halfway through the autopsy when they wake up screaming and uh, shit, quiet that much. You know, pretend that didn't happen. The presumably deceased subject has just got up and uh, is now talking. Ah, uh, here we go. He just looks hungover. He's just literally hungover. Dean Kane, how would you play a zombie? Hmm, let's get really drunk and work that one out. Oh, fuck. That was an amazing zombie. Amazing zombie. You don't have any. You don't have any vital signs. You know what? Weirdly, I've watched a lot of Dean Kane stuff, and the most convinced I've been by his acting is now when he's hungover. He's clearly hungover, and he's just like, oh, just give me my fucking pants. I don't fucking care. Just get the scene done. This is the most convincing I've ever seen him act. What's wrong? 
Ah, oh shit, it's the mummy where the bugs are in the skin. And just rip it out, mate. Ah, look at that! He pretty much severed his arm off. Pretty much. What is that thing? Dead. Ah, dead. What is that thing? Ah! Also, if a scorpion got into you, right? Surely, like, there'd be like, like a cut wound where he dug his way into you and stuff like that? No? Just. Maybe in your mouth, I suppose, but then how the fuck did he get in your arm there? What are you doing? You can't smoke around here, you nuts. Ah, uh, you can't smoke around here, around highly flammable shit. Like, if that was real, you would have got beaten the shit out of and sent home. Ah. High Tension, the movie on the back of that cover, that was mad. They were advertising that crazy French film, High Tension. Any relation here? Strange. Ah, uh, look at that, he's got yeah, fucking nice Wolverine powers, mate. You know, you really need to get out more. What is happening? Did you see her then? The, the, the surgeon guy was like, no, it's pretty I'm cool. Sure. He's fucking come back to life, fucking I'm just wolverined up. And then she goes, you really need to get out more? What? Go to a fucking club like you do every fucking weekend as opposed to watching someone fucking wolverine? What's more impressive? Come on. What do you think happened to him? I wish I knew. Uh, I wish I knew what was going on. I gotta act like I know what's going on. Shit. In fairness, like... Yeah, this sucks, but she's actually competent. Like, yeah, quarantine this guy. Fuck knows what. Guy. He's alive. He could be fucking a walking virus, so, you know? Ah, now he's going to sneak up on him and try and get him with that. It's not going to work on him. Ah. Was that supposed to be superhuman? Because anyone could have fucking thrown someone over that thing like that. Until we know what's happening to you and ascertain whether it's contagious, we are not going to allow you. To leave this room. You could really see she was like, I'm really trying to fucking remember my lines here as I don't deliver them with any impact because I'm just focusing on what the fuck I'm supposed to say. Ah, look at that. Oh, here we go. The other ones are finally waking up now. He looks like the guy from Twilight with the fucking paleness of his face, like. Bad look, bruv. The age look is bad. Uh, where's his mm -hmm. body? Um, he was, yeah. <laughs> I love the casualness. You lost a dead body. I, I didn't lose it. Fucking walked off on his own. Like, I, last time I saw it was you. I didn't lose it. The US Army does not lose bodies. Here we go. I can assure you, he's around here somewhere. He's Probably around here somewhere. You were the thing is, if like a dead body did go, you would be a bit like this. You'd be like, oh, it's going to be around here somewhere. Like, where the fuck else has it gone? And then. Hold on, why is he walking out the door? What the fuck? Like, or limping out the door? Ah, uh, here we go. We have to find him now. Well, so no one noticed him walk out there at any point. Well, he sneaked past a whole military squad and no one's noticed him. Pathetic. So I think this is a scene I remember. Yeah, in the kitchen. Well, have that bastard. What do you? What? What happened there? Who it? What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! I can't go to quarantine, okay? I have to have dinner ready in an hour. Nah. Picking chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Men like the dumplings. Oh shit. The lucky love. Nah, oh, he's fucking making sure he's still drinking his coffee while she spazzes out. One, well, she's just turned that quick. Look how fake his hand is. You can see. Then when he's holding that, he's fake. It's gonna, she's gonna attack his hand. Look, it's clearly fake beforehand. Ah, uh, beforehand. Hey. Ah, go on, what's he gonna... Go on, cut him head off, mate. Ah! Oh, he just slightly slapped your neck. I thought you were gonna cut him head off. What? That was fucking mad. He put her head in a fan and it exploded. And now he's fucking grilling his face. All right, it's heating up now, this film. Ah, mush his arm up, bro. Mush his arm up, mush. Go on. Look at that. Thing is, you have to give out a good clean next time you want to use it, because that's going to be infected. Oh shit, he's got a shotgun this whole time. Uh... Well, when his, his stomach should have exploded. Pathetic. What? That was... He put his arm in there, and it's still the same size. Look, it was just his finger. Two fingers gone, but that was like damage to his arm. That was fucked. Ah, uh, that was quite funny. Threw a meat cleaver. Now we're even. 
Cut his okay. head off and then went in the we'll stew. Me clean his kitchen up. I was going to say, you're going to have to do a serious job of cleaning up and getting rid of all the fucking really? shit you had to fill that. Really a shotgun for that? Why didn't you just stamp on it? This is actually getting quite funny. As, as much as I was like, ah, this is going to get quite annoying. This, because it's so silly and self-aware, this kind of is working, weirdly. I can see why I like this as a younger. I can. Oh shit, he, he's going to get the cravings, isn't he? I can't remember, does he? Does he become bad zombie at the end? I, I can't remember what happens. I, I honestly can't fucking remember. And the mad thing is, I've seen this more than once. That's a mad thing. Your record is impeccable, Lieutenant Gwen. I'll grant you that. You forgot to mention that he was Superman, which is probably Trump's all that shit. Loud spread. We are talking about mass hysteria. Thousands of deaths, sir, and that will all be your fault. Uh, it was like you probably could have done another take. He was like thousands. You know, there was that slight pause here where you could tell he didn't quite have his lines fluidly. Like you know. There's no point handcuffing him, you could literally just go like that. Like that easy, so... Yeah, there we go, fucking hell. Look at there's not even any um, handcuffs on him. Respect of Dean Kane actually throwing a fucking kick then. I was fully extended as well, mate, I'll, I'll give you that. So you're telling me they escaped a full military base? GTA, you walk in there, you fucking six stars. You ain't fucking escaping now without a fucking load of people following you. Them, just, yeah. It's military shit. Pathetic. Yeah, but you, you don't even have a beard. All you got is that, that peach fuzz stuff. Yeah, but, but, but it's black and I'm black, so... It's cool, right? Hold on. So corny, but I don't know why that was kind of charming, like, this little conversation between each other, like, it was just it's so stupid and cheesy, but... There's one freaky do. I shouldn't have, like, been entertained by that, but I was. I think this film's turning my brain into a zombie. Must have hit a patch of ice. Must have hit a patch of ice. You know what I mean? It's like this could go two, two ways. I could either be in mad annoying, but I'm not annoyed by it. Weirdly, look at that. It's like the front of it is just a shell. There's like no engine or nothing in the front of it. This is just like an old fucking already fucking broken vehicle, and they've taken all the insides out. Ah. Uh... Can a guy laugh in there? Fucking hell. I mean, go on, Chud, go on. I mean, I definitely would. Look at the beer. It's already half drank. She opened a bottle. Imagine someone opening you up a bottle and it's half drank. You'd be like, are you fucking shitting me? In fairness, though, she did give it to him for free, so... Ah, look at this. Look at this. What the fuck? Hey, stay cool. In the fridge, hey, stay cool. <laughs> ah, Nike! That was turning to dust all dawn, but with zombies. He's wearing a bra over this. <laughs> Be happy when the police come. Okay. Hey, why don't you, uh. Use your little heat vision, you know? Make a nice little toasty Make your heat like vision! I don't have heat Superman! Yeah, what I ah, he bit his dick! Look at this! Well, just like that, take them all off quick. Ah, look at him! I'd be doing the same, no fucking, like, you know what I mean? Ah, look out! Oh, I just blew her shotgun. Again, like, not very gory. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. Get his head off. Get the axe. Yeah, boy. Choppy my choppage. Go on. I just capped the captain, like. Always aim for the heads. There we go. He's re-established her. So it's a bit like Resident Evil, when you kill him, you've got to kill a parasite, in this case, Scorpion. There we go. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. <laughs> oh, I remember why I liked this film, because it was self-aware cheesy, but not too far. It was just dumb fun, you know? And at the sound of the bullets, but nothing ricocheting off the fucking cars or nothing. And they're just both standing here, look. 
It's like computer games, so it's waiting for you. Just then load in, it's just waiting for you to come into into a close enough range so they can start moving like. What she she jacked the police car? Go, 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 go! I love how he just jumped in there, his legs hanging out, he didn't even close the door behind him. <laughs> That's weird. Look at like where the text is, how that was. I wasn't aligned or nothing, I was strange. Yeah, right, oh, we've turned into Terminator. Now we're Carl Reese is running through the mall and getting a new set of clothes. Are you bathed in bleach? <laughs> you bathed in bleach? Do you guys think this is going to fit? Yes. Yeah? Uh, yes, it'll fit, sure, yeah. Both <laughs> oh, my parents are dead. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, of course you didn't know. You just met the guy. Don't be sorry. Must have been tough. Foster home to foster home. I mean, we've all been here. We just met someone and, like, you know, you've said something inappropriate and they're like, you know what I mean? Kind of like... Oh, you know what? These people are fucking crazy and they all deserve, like, should be in a mental asylum. Then that person looks and goes, I just came out of one. I wouldn't go on. Sorry. I'd just be like, oh, well, okay, nice knowing you, mate. Gotta go. Out of my way. I got no Is that really what <clears throat> Dean Kane's? He's got Sorry, a pimp. No like a mix between like um an uh, in like an Indian and a pimp please? coat. What? Yeah, look at he's the most stylish zombie ever. He looks like he's in a boy band. Like. Bobby, well, now he's having Bobby? some kind of stomach. Oh, maybe because he needs to eat the knee. They haven't brought that up in fucking ages. Ah, uh, look at this. Like, who the fuck are you guys? Sorry to have inconvenienced you. Let's go. Well, wait, wait, let's rush. Uh, ma'am, look here. We're just trying to save the world, okay? This is really realistic. The woman's like, why are you going away? Now I told her where the body is. And most of them would be like, whatever. She's like, yeah, what's the rush? Why are you trying I'm going with you. Ah, shit, she's going with them. This is realistic as shit. She'd be like, what the fuck are you up to? Like, I'm not just saying, what's in the house? Don't think I've ever seen this happen in a film. Wow, dead and deader. One of the most realistic scenes I've ever seen in a film. Weirdly. Put on your seatbelt. I wouldn't want to see anything happen to you. She went from being fucking what are you up to to like in love with him. Are you just going to leave the coffin open and not close it with the corpse in there? What the fuck? Ah, look at this guy. Sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't hear you at the door. I... Yeah, I just listen to like sense. fucking metal and going off open. <laughs> Focus on me, it's gonna be okay. Just look at me while you want to eat meat. No, if anything, I'd be like, yeah, stay the fuck away from me, man, in a corner. And any time you start approaching, I'll start kicking at you, like you know. Oh, look, and it's fucking Peter Green from the mask. Do I know you? No, I'm sorry, being rude. I'm Dr. Scott. Did he do this out of like the day before? He went to a gig and he's like, I can't fucking speak properly. So if he's putting that on, I can hardly understand you, mate. What? Be helpful. Unless his character's ill and he's playing up to it, because that makes sense. Freelance. Yeah, freelance. It's Peter Green. He ain't working for no government. Fuck off. Ah, he's funny like a dog, like. Children will never have to watch their parents grow old. Nobody will have to grow old. Do you understand what that means? Yeah, terrible. Overpopulation of the world and fucking destruction, bro. No, let people die. It's got to happen. Sorry, bro. Yeah, die. Yeah, die. My body is riddled with cancer. There you go. His body's riddled with cancer. Okay, so that's why he's acting like this. Sorry, fair enough, Peter Green. It wasn't a gig you went to the night before, I doubt, then. Yeah, uh, go on, fuck him up. She's only a random man. Who cares? Let her die. Fuck it. Yeah, I just fucking chucked into it anyway. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> have that. Again, threw his stomach, not his head, and it killed him. Ow. What? Yeah, uh, what a weird dream. Yeah, uh, she's tied him up to him, so when he gets angry. <laughs> Woohoo! You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. Look at this. What, they're all having headshots today? Eh? Alright. Uh, fair play, they keep spawning because, like, get, bodies are gone, then they're there, then they're gone, then they're there. You don't want to do this. You want to eat me? Stop it, Bobby. Just think about this. Think about it, Bobby. 
he does want to eat you though, love, you know what I mean? In more than one way, so... Ah, he just dived in it. He was like, what? what? And why is it no longer attached? How did that come off her hand? The wrist, sorry, what? What the fuck? I mean, he was just trying to fight you. What are oh, you come doing? On. Come on, don't do this. Now he's got me, she's all like, oh Bobby, oh Bobby, he's just trying to murder you, love. So basically, if you get with him, love, you've got to be cooking, like, not even cooking him. You just buy a steak from a shop raw and just chuck it at him every day. Looks like the good doctor's already been here. I love how, like, there was 20 zombies and there's only two dead bodies. Again, like that one headshot. There was one headshot. Oh, go on. What was it? Whole Sung Park? Fair play to him, bro. He's going in, headshot him. Well, it just left him there and. What? Oh, shit. So he's actually got fucked them. Look at that. Stopping the zombies, like coming in the door. Or like that. How do we get in? And he just does that. I don't think that's how. Nothing there. Them... It's electric. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Like, yeah, it's a fucking... look at it. Ah, he's just randomly drilling at him. He just drop kit. He just dilated to the door. <laughs> just picking up that fucking scorpion without, but like you know, could sting you. Ah, she freaked out and shot her as well. And like he, so Ho Sung Ho Sung Park is the only one left, really now. Cause she's gonna be zombied. Oh no! Go on, fight some zombies, mate. You, you know you're capable. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Oh shit, man. Nope, Peter Green fuck. Oh, they're ripping his arm off. That's like the first gory film I've seen in the it's both his arms. That's like the goriest thing that's happened in this film. It just jacks him like. Because if she's on a, a dire breath, she's just kind of like, yeah, you didn't make it, it's fine. Oh shit, I've been shot in the stomach. That was a, that was a death. Remembered earlier? Oh, now we shot her in the head. But she didn't get bitten, she just got shot. She just shot <laughs> an already dead corpse, love. Get your aiming in, I guess. But let's revisit that. She's in the stomach, shot now. I get shot in that, but she goes, no, he's dead. And died. You paid that person money. You oh, didn't really do that take. Here's one for free. Fuck me! Someone put me in a film! How is he alive? They all covered him. You didn't get out. Bullshit. That's like the fucking walking dead. When Glenn goes under the fucking bin, it's like, fuck off. The Ideamo dub squad, they're gonna lure every single zombie in the base, even the rogue ones. I just blow, or just blow the base up anyway. Here we go, he's timed it for two minutes, you expect to... Uh, get out. Ah, look at this, he's got meat on a fucking... Pan. <laughs> Even though they've got like loads of fucking human parts, which they haven't even got through, like. <laughs> How silly this is, like. Pure zombie! Pure zombie! Dead or alive, men are all the same. Do you fuck uh, dead corpses? So you're in your necrophiliac in that case? You said it, not me. Oh. Ah, Peter Green, look at him. Peter Green is a zombie, yo. Yeah, you're gonna have to connect to yourself, mate. You're a zombie, you're fine. But then, I'm pretty sure electricity by law kills zombies as well, mate. It'd fry your brain, so. Um, there's red barrels in there, and we've all played the computer games. There's an explosion, you're instant death, mate. Game over. 
What? He's running over Peter Green now? What? It said 20 seconds, 20 seconds ago. What? How did the guy with the Michael Jackson jacket do when he got covered by zombies in Glen? He, he, he's got to have bite marks on him, right? Surely. But then he would have turned by now, wouldn't he? Oh shit, look at this, an actual mad explosion. With all the stuff we've seen, uh, uh, I got a new theme for a restaurant. Vegan. <laughs> a new theme for the restaurant, vegan. That was actually quite funny, to be fair, mate. Do anything I want, I can be You can do anything you want until the military the know about there, your shit. Right They're going to be following you around the world, yeah, mate. You're right. fucked. Your life's fucked. I think that's a good idea, but first we need to get your pulse going. He's infected, love. That's a point. If he fucks you, like, that's a bad idea. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Friendship? She's friend zoning him already. She invited him down the road for the fuck. Okay. What? Okay, so that was uh, Dead and Deader from 2006. So. As I said, I had like a weird like feeling. I gotta watch Dead and Dead. I don't know why all films just came to my head. I don't fucking know why. Like, um, but yeah, pretty much it reminded me of like when I first watched it. I was fully aware it was really cheesy, self-aware cheese. But a lot of the time that can go, you know, not in its favour, should we say. On this occasion, yeah, it was pretty good. Like throughout it, even though there's a few quips, I was rolling my eyes. Uh, overall, it was like, yeah, fine, it's cheesy, yeah, I fine. I pretty much felt the same I probably did about it before, to be honest with you. So let's get to it. It's a spud. It is a spud. It was enjoyable enough and stuff. The things I will say, if you're like um, a zombie connoisseur and you really like the gore, you'll definitely be disappointed with this. I think the gory scene was when um, Peter Green gets his arms ripped off. He jacks him, um, you know, there's like rubber body parts around the points as a burnt out body and that, but I think as far as like seeing gore, that's as gory as I guess, and so for the zombie film, that's actually really bad, but because like, you know, it's Dean Cain, it just, it's like a TV fucking movie, innit, it feels like, you know what I mean, like, it is a film, but it feels like it was made for TV, like, it could have passed as a, like a 12A, in America it'd be like, PG-13 for you guys, I believe, because the UK system's a bit different and stuff. Um, yeah, it, it was all right. It, it was dumb fun. It was cheesy. Um, everyone was clearly, like, having a bit of a laugh. No one's really taking it serious at all. Um, yeah, you could say it was a payday, but at least it weren't, like, an annoying one where it's like, what the fuck is this? It was fine. It was fine. Definitely cheesy. Uh, not for everyone. Not for everyone. If you watched this and said this was a part of the shit, this weren't gory enough... Yeah, I won't argue with you. If you watch this and said this was really cheesy, I couldn't get out with it, I won't argue with you. Um, a bit of a guilty pleasure, I can't lie. Uh, but yeah, it was it was fine. It was fine. It was kind of as I remember. Now I've watched it again. Again, I only remember the kitchen scene, even after all that fucking shit. But the feeling of like, yeah, that was dumb fun. Go on, I'll give you that. I think that's what I felt before. But yeah, if you've seen this film, give your um, thoughts and comments. If you've got any other um, suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Till next time, I've been Maniacal Come Back, so peace out. Uh, uh, Maniacal Mac. Mac.